Hello and welcome to Shortcuts, the weekly show where I teach you how to do something cool in your Lightworks video editor in two minutes or less. My name is David Winter, I'm a video editor here at Lightworks and today I want to teach you about milestones. Now milestones are a great way of logging your progress throughout an edit and being able to jump back and forth between those points if you need to. They're kind of difficult to explain, they're much easier to show, so we're just going to dive right into this. We'll get our two minute timer up on the screen now and off we go. So a milestone is created every time you make 10 editing actions. An editing action is just about anything you can do inside Lightworks, but for the sake of an example, I'm just making lots and lots of cuts here to my footage. I will speed up this footage as well when I'm editing this because it's going to be pretty boring to sit here and just watch me make loads of cuts. So every 10 actions that I take, a milestone is created and Lightworks can store up to 10 milestones. But there's a way you can bring these into Lightworks to store even more than that and go back to them if you need to. So all I'm going to do is right click here in the preview window. I'm going to go down to the make option and I'm going to choose bin of milestones. Now, as you can see, that's automatically opened the bin up for me. It's also created a heading under the bins tab here in the project contents. Now what this has done is it's taken every milestone that's been created and it's turned it into a sequence that I can open up. So if I open up this one here, you can see I'm back towards the start before I made a lot of cuts. If I open up this one here, you can see it wasn't that long ago and lots of my cuts are intact. The ones in between represent the points from not many cuts all the way up to having lots of cuts. So as you can see, I can use these to move back and forth between different points in my edit. Great for if I make a mistake or just regret the direction that I've taken my edit in. Like I said, Lightworks can only store 10 milestones at a time, but once you've made them into sequences, they'll stay around forever. So what you can do is turn your milestones into sequences like we've done now, do some more editing, and then do the same thing again. Right click, make, and I'm going to choose bin of milestones. That will then turn the next batch of milestones into another set of sequences. So by doing this semi-regularly, you can build up an entire timeline of your editing progress and go back to whatever point you need to for whatever reason. Like I said, kind of a tricky one to explain this one, but hopefully seeing it in action has made it a bit clearer for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Shortcuts. I hope you found it useful enough to like and subscribe to our channel. And now I've got a special deal for you. If you're here watching Shortcuts, that means you're dedicated to being the best editor you can be. And I want to help you on that journey. So if you're interested in upgrading from Lightworks Free to an annual or outright Lightworks Create membership, just use the code SHORTCUTS at checkout. That's SHORTCUTS, all one word, capital S, capital C at checkout, and I'm gonna give you 50% off of that annual or outright membership to Lightworks Create. So please do take advantage of this deal. That's a Lightworks Create annual or outright membership and use the code SHORTCUTS at checkout to get 50% off. Thanks for watching.